Welcome back to Improvision Entertainment. My name is Hunterman, and this is more of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I'm going to get the pronunciation on that incorrect sometimes. Um, we are on the same map. We are. I skipped over for you guys watching in the playlist. Um, going after little, little loot trinkets. Stealthing around the base. If you wanted to see that, you know, leave a comment below because I'm sure there will be more Assassin's Creed games that, you know, I'll this be playing on stream. Heavily guarded. But, um, in the meantime, uh, I brought you in here because this is a major loot and it looks like it is actually a knowledge book and a boy had questions <laughs> about danger, so... Oh, we're doing the old spike top of a uh, wall means I can't go over it. I might be able to go through there, though, but I don't see any place to hide on the other side. Grudestin? <laughs> Grudestin? I think that guy is directly looking this direction. I don't know what I'm saying, Molly. I don't know. I don't know words. Uh, this place is. Oh, it do... I don't. I don't have its little highlight on the map. Wait, it should be right there. Oh, I can't read it. G I think it's G-R-Y-T-T-I-R-S-A-N-D. Gurdjistan? Words are hard. You are correct. Can't wait for you to meet Velvet Maiden. She should be back in just a moment. She's a long, long time friend of mine. I'm... I'm doing okay. I mean, this game is slow and I'm just doing the fill in the blank assassiny parts right now. This game is real slow. <laughs> that is not actually grass I can hide in. Ah. I stood up too much apparently. Wow, this is going to be dangerous. Like, she was right. This is definitely a dangerous location. Nice to see a long-time friend stop by. That is true. You know what? Ryan was here earlier. And I haven't known Ryan nearly as long, but like... Still, you know, three years ago. He's the only person I've ever met who has my same birthday. That guy being on patrol is going to be a real problem in about three more seconds. Anybody got bows? Because bows would be the real problem. Get behind! Yeah, there's a bower. Oh, I need that block from any side ability. Oh, this isn't as bad as I thought. Where am I being shot from? Wow. 
It's been... 14 years, guys. 14 years, and you couldn't... Like... Make your AI not this dirt stupid. Like, come on. 14 years? Is that too much to ask? Wow, that had a good feeling to it. I like that. Auto loot. Auto loot? Okay. One of the benefits to uh, faffing about is just being able to straight spend experience points on basic upgrades to improve yourself that you would be doing later while also progressing. Book of Knowledge. Thorn of Slumber. That was the wrong button. And now I've lost it. Damn it. Both those buttons didn't do identically the same thing. Okay, Thorn of Slumber, which is a ranged ability. Does it put people to sleep when I shoot them? An arrow marked with Sventhorn symbol puts targets to sleep almost instantly. Um, um, sure. What's the good of putting people to sleep without killing them, though? I mean, real question. What's good about not killing guys in this game? I mean, just, you know, just asking. Asking the real questions. Real talk, why not kill guys? Ooh, hello, what's this? Words on a money sheet. These tunnels twist, thought, sap wisdom. We do not own this land, we scurry like rats below it. That doesn't sound like a poem. Wait, is that the is that actually the the, the doodad I was picking up? No. Oh, it's it's in it's in there. <laughs> Ominous music cue. That guy's pacing a little too much. Breakable walls. These walls will break with an explosion. Shooting an oil jar placed near the wall or throwing an oil jar wall will cause it to collapse. That's new. Okay. So I need to find a way to walk up to here with an oil jar. Okay, cool. I've got stairs. Oil jar, huh? Oil jar? That's an- oops! My biggest problem is that this whole underground area is filled with grass, so me doing this is going to light me on fire, most likely. <laughs> Ooh, 
loot chest. Leather and iron, not a big deal. Okay. Sufficient ration materials to upgrade a ration pouch. Oh, I can upgrade a ration pouch. Oh, I didn't realize that was over here. Huh, that's actually a lot, but you know what? Getting at least one upgrade on this ration pouch seems like a good idea. Let's do that mystery. I think that guy's finding a dead body. But maybe he's found himself the dead body. Well, perhaps he has found himself the dead body. Hey look, easy way out. There's no... Interesting. Kind of looking for a viewpoint. go down that can I go over there <laughs> just in case seems fine though Cursed! Foul magic gathers here! A pestilence poisons this land! Okay, what's this say? What's this say? What is this menace you shout about? Is it some creature you hunt? My prey is the most cunning of beasts, capable of vile deeds beyond the ability of any common animal. You're okay. someone then. A warlock. One who once called himself a man, but has since befouled his hoover. His whole being with twisted Seder magic. This has the feel of something more personal. The evil spider who squats in yonder hut poisoned my own sister. For that alone, it deserves to die. But maybe you would be moved to help by the bounty King Harald has offered for any warlock killed. Prophet can persuade where passion fails. I'll weigh this against the effort. The warlock makes its lair down this road to the left. Keep an eye out. Down this road to the left. Let it be known that any cedar magics in these lands will be the sole dom dominion of seers or otherwise women. If any male, be he boy or man, is found guilty of this unmanly practice, he will face exile at the very least, and perhaps even death, by the removal of those manly elements that yet remain. His balls, for just to be clear. And dick. Whatever remains. Alright, down here to the left, you said? That's where you're going. I haven't been over here, but I was kind of expecting a- oh, hey, this might be deep. Okay. Hmm. 
Have you come to face me, finally? Or will you continue to harass me from afar? Uh, mm, speak. Are you the warlock who laid a curse on this land? There was a curse here long before I came along. A curse of ignorance that infects all of Midgard. So you are not using your magic against this land and its people? I try to use my knowledge to help others. I am only a threat to those who fear the unknown, of which there are many. There is a hunter who believes you poisoned his sister. I tried to save her. I made a mixture that would have burned away her illness, but he chose to drench her in pig's blood. If there is any blame here, it lies on him and his ignorant kin. He sure. killed his sister. Do not listen. He will poison our thoughts. You have no thoughts to poison. Die, monster! To hell with you! Men like this are more dangerous than any magic. They kill wisdom. You may claim his belongings. His body I will give to the land. Okay. So I could have killed either one of them, I guess. But I mean, I sided with magic on that one. I want anything that's going to get me to more precursor stuff. And welcome back to the stream, Chocobo Dreams. Oh no, there's another mystery afoot. He's like an anti-conservative? I mean, he's... If you... Uh, you know what? I'm not even going to guess. I'm not even going to guess on that one. <laughs> it's a bit open. I don't think we're talking politics on stream, but like, I, I, because he's for knowledge, because conservative politicians, and I think it's fair to say their base, are not big on knowledge. That is a long way away from me. I'm going to get up here and I'm going to call my horse. Wait, hold on. I got a new dot. There's a new, there's a new yellow. Where's that? Well, that may be quite far away. <whistles> How you doing, Chuckabo? Uh, Spider-Man is still gonna happen at 4 o'clock, as was the scheduled stream plan. But, um, I'm just... Well, am I enjoying myself, or am I just doing things? It's hard to tell sometimes. Sometimes I just like doing things. You'll be here for most of it? Nice. Can I just pick that up without getting off? I forget. There was a quest for... There was a quest for something. Did I already do it? Did, did I already do it? Maybe I already did it. There was like, kill three deer and I... or. Waiting on an Amazon package today? It's not a PlayStation 5, is it? PlayStation 5's restocked today, but only for Amazon Prime users, of which I am not one. I'm beginning to believe PlayStation 5's don't actually exist. Is that weird? You wish you were prepared for that? I mean, many people do. It's the same thing with the Sam's Club. Sam's Club is like, oh yeah, uh, we restocked PlayStation 5s, but uh, you have to be a Sam's Club member. Oh, hello. Oh no. That's a legendary animal, isn't it? Well, these things always whoop my ass, so I will get my ass whooped and then leave. But at least it will be marked on my map. 
Elk of bloody peaks? What? Anybody see any red markers on his health bar? This is not a big enough fighting space. I think it's doing that thing where I can't actually hurt him unless I'm down there in there. Hey, game, how many... How, what level do you recommend? Do you have a recommended level? Doesn't look like it. Oh, I, I could actually do this. Pulling out red attacks now. What am I doing on arrows? Seven left. I was not expecting to get to do that. And skill points. Skill points of four. Elk of Bloody Peak's head. Brought a Samsung Galaxy S4 tablet because my current one is kind of garbage. Oh, right. Chocobo, you never answered yesterday, or maybe you didn't hear me. What were you drawing? Seems like people were in and out. I mean, no pressure to, like, be there or anything like that. But just out of curiosity, what were you drawing? If you don't mind saying. It will automatically rotates around to block incoming attacks by holding up their shield. Yeah, that sounds pretty good for arrows. I need... Okay, I need abilities that are just gonna straight make me harder to see. Or a gaming tablet, but no drawing tablet, but it does come with a stylus. Nice. Most of the stuff you draw is in Twitch family? That sounds pretty cool. Ivor automatically performs a roll when landing from a dangerous height, reducing the amount of damage taken. I mean, that could be pretty useful on its own. Last chance healing. Is there not a, I'm just more invisible? More chances to loot food. Power stroke. Arrow looter. I don't really need those just yet. Regain the red portion of your health bar when landing a successful melee hit. I mean, that could be good. Background bolt. Charge shot. Charge shot. Are two fully charged arrows by pressing right bumper with the hunter's bow. This attack cannot be cancelled. Dangerous. Bow to melee link. Automatically highlight enemy. Wait, automatically highlight enemies when crouched and undetected? Cool. Headshot damage, stealth damage, light damage. Where is... 
There's gotta be, like, you get detected less. While in stealth, gain adrenaline by looting chests or pickpocketing restricted areas. Neat. Do you make good money, Chocobo? Or do you just draw for fun? Error reinforcement with this skill. Loose arrows will never break and may be collected from fallen enemies. That's pretty good by itself. Red Bash. Warrior takedown. Attempt a right trigger takedown on an unaware enemy with your melee weapon. It will alert enemies around you, but you will fill your adrenaline meter. Your friend is really loving Stellaris? Excellent, Molly. Um... Uh... They just get silvered humanoid cow aliens? Well. That, I mean, I, I wish I had like a pun, but I got nothing. <laughs> Chocobo, you've played this before, right? It, it, can you tell me, is there an ability for making dudes detect you less quickly? And if so, what direction on this really unintelligible uh, level up screen is it? Oh, you haven't played this. Oh, that's right, you haven't played this. You're one of the only people I talked to yesterday who hadn't already played it. Um, you'd make good money if it wasn't lazy. Most, the most I made on a single project was 250 bucks, but it's not like that's likely to happen often. Oh man, that's awesome. Do you, do you not take commissions, or do you not advertise yourself? Because depending on. What type of stuff that isn't suitable for Twitch? Uh, I am an artist looking for an artist for a project. Depending. Get our both our names out. Your ravens gather loot from targets with ranged attacks. Okay, let's just do some of these things. Auto loot an enemy after a melee kill or stealth takedown. Yeah. Oh, wait, I can't acquire that? Oh, I gotta get to that. More assassination damage. More ability damage. I haven't used adrenaline yet. In fact, I don't remember what adrenaline is for. Hold on, there was... Pulling left trigger will snap your aim to an enemy that, as they detect you, giving you an opportunity to kill them and remain undetected. Oh! That was very distracting in Metal Gear Solid Five, actually. Parry damage. Successful parries also deal damage to the attacker. I want that. Oh, I can't have that. Why can't I have that? I gotta get over there? I gotta get over there. Okay, interesting. So it's starting to give me, like, more things I can see. I think it was blue-colored, though, so I'm, I'm past it already. Bow stun finisher? After when aiming a stun enemy's head to trigger a bow stun finisher? That sounds kind of cool, but I can't acquire that. Looting arrows from archers. Yep. Um. Yeah, let's go for partial healing. How long does it take? And how much does it give? It doesn't give that much. Maybe it's not a good idea. We're just doing general benefits. Molly says, I can't draw on tablets. I worked with oil and watercolor mediums for so long that I just look like I drew an MS Paint when I try and draw on a tablet. You know, uh, programs like Procreate do have a really good watercolor physics thing to them, Molly. You might try it sometime if you have the opportunity to, like... My mom used to paint watercolors, too, and she's like, oh, actually, maybe I could do this someday. She's thinking about getting me a new iPad so that she can take my old iPad. 
I think if I can do it to anybody, I can't. Oh, if I think if I can do it, anybody can. But I've been watching arts for a long time, so maybe I just absorbed a lot of stuff too. I could never do traditional. There's no undo button. Yeah. I have a hard time going back to paper. There are certain benefits, like when I want to scribble out what a web page looks like, or I want to do a big web of story events when I'm trying to plot out a game. Like, I find that's better on paper. Just so you always, like, keep your last results type thing, type deal. But... Why is there growling around me? But, um... I like to do digital. My biggest problem is that Wacom... Uh, which is the company I normally get my uh, pen tablets from, they are absolutely terrible about maintaining drivers for more than like four or five years, thus forcing you to just buy another tablet if you want it to be compatible with your computer, which I find to be exceedingly annoying. Current title is a Wacom Bamboo MTE 450. Eh, I, don't, I'm a, I mostly use the iPad, but I've got an Intuos. I don't know what model. It's also kind of small, but it was a gift, so I can't really... Now I'm stuck with a small tablet, but I, I'm not really in the position to complain. Super cheap, got it off a friend. Yeah, a lot of my friends have gotten my hand-me-down tablets. Because they don't upgrade their operating systems as often as I usually do. Oh, hello, what's this? Note written in charcoal. Great elk is near. Soon we meet. I have killed bear by axe and wolf by tooth. I am the great hunter. I know no equal. Okay, Ubisoft, seriously. Most games have a button for reading text that it puts it into, like, a generic black background with white font. Why don't you actually write this note in charcoal? Like, why don't, Why is this always, like, a piece of paper that just says, Imagine, this note is written in charcoal. Like, what are you doing? Slackers. Molly says, I also watch a little digital, digital artist and have for years. I just never got great with tablets. I also don't have a tablet dedicated to drawing. I have an Apple tablet that says it can draw, but I used to have a drawing tablet like 15 years ago, and that was a nice, I could draw cartoon anime okay, but not realism. I mean, I, I prefer a kind of anime look to my stuff. Minor Toxic Rune Weapons Rune. Minor Toxic Rune Weapons Rune? Um... Rune? Plus attack... Poison buildup? Let's have poison buildup. Also, can I just flat upgrade this yet? No, I require more iron. I might have more iron in a second. So we're all kind of artists. Do 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 Another read. A note written in blood, for example. Imagine. Imagine this note is written in blood. I saw the great elk. I met my match. I await my death. Oh, so that guy wrote a note to die. I like realism when I draw in nature and also weird animals, like... Platypus or other odd animals, and Chocobo says, I should be drawing right now, but instead I'm retrying the same stage over and over again in AFK Arena. AFK Arena sounds pretty familiar. I don't know what that is. Okay, I have for the moment cleared out this side of the map. So, in this area we have six 
gold icons. I see five, though that could theoretically be two of them. And there could be like another one up over here. And this is a different region, right? Yeah, that's a different Yeah, that's a different region. There could be one over here. You got it got a lot of marketing, not quite Raid Shadow Legends marketing, but it was up Oh, you know what? Maybe that's where I saw it. Yeah, yeah. What what is AFK Arena? Because I have been wondering. Um then mysteries. One, two mysteries. So we'll still be oh, uh, I can't actually do Oh, I need money to do that. I need a way to just make money. Alright, I should be able to fast travel to here. Do, 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 do. I will say, going back and forth between Assassin's Creed and, and um, Spider-Man is probably a super bad idea. Because... They each have attack and dodge buttons in very different places, and I've already messed up a bunch just regular combat in Assassin's Creed because I keep pressing the wrong button. Not sure how to describe it outside of being a 5x5 gotcha game. Okay, well, gotcha game is a part I understand, but what type of gotcha are you doing? Is it a car is it card game? Have a look, Sunan. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Say that all the marking basically lied. The game is nothing like they make it look, which is weird because it's better than they made it look. Oh. Well, that's actually pretty rare. I mean, it's pretty super common at this point for uh, mobile games to be lying about what they are. Like, it's really out of hand. Like, I'm not sure, like, if people just have decided not to sue them. Because it's clearly false marketing. There are plenty of mobile games that I have seen an ad for and went, you know what, that looks kind of interesting, and picked it up and started trying to play it, and got, like, not even two minutes in and was like, this is nothing like what was in the little commercial thing. <laughs> Truth of the matter is, I am one of those rare people that doesn't care about, like, commercials. Um, I don't- I understand they serve a purpose because you can't just, like... You can't have a platform like YouTube without making money. But it's the way you do the commercials, like... YouTube's main problem is that it's absolutely stupid about where it puts a commercial into a video. Which reminds me, hey, if you're watching this later on YouTube, and you see ads in it, and they're in the weird fucking place, I didn't put the ads in it, nor did I put them where they are. And I'm talking about that bullshit, okay? I used to not ad block, because it was like, whatever, you know, you gotta pay for the free service. But at the point at which YouTube started doing tons of ads and interrupting the middle of people's sentences and stuff that's when i was like no i gotta i gotta stop this it's ruining my enjoyment also i'd swear if they had the connect still usage uh, that they'd be watching me because it seems like whenever i'm doing something over there on the futon watching the television of uh, xbox youtube whenever i get up to do a file or something on the computer start a different upload it starts an ad and my controller's over at the computer so i can't skip it and that's so annoying and I'd, it's it's a weird coincidence don't really ad block because twitch i just install it to avoid the ads on random web pages see i don't even care about the ads on random web pages i care about youtube like i have a memory problem you can't just and i don't know if it's me i don't know if it's me and my memory problem or if it's just normal usage but you can't interrupt a, a dialogue, a conversation somebody was happening with me, immediately pick up where that left off like nothing happened, and expect me to remember what the hell they were saying. To interrupt in the middle of a sentence, let alone the middle of a thought, is, like, very mentally distracting to me. And I don't... 
I don't know if other people have that same problem, because everybody's brain works a little bit differently. Or if that's just a me thing, but for me, it's terrible. Oh, Molly said, mobile games, Candy Cross spin-offs instead of what's in the commercials. I mean, there is that. You block video on Twitch, but it just makes the screen black and the ad is happening, which has played some ads that triggered my PTSD and so I can't risk it again. Wait, you video block on Twitch, but it just makes the screen black while the ad is happening. Twitch has played some ads that trigger my PTSD, so I can't risk that again? Oh, that seems like something that should be looked at like, dare I ask, or will bringing it up possibly trigger? Because I don't want to do that. But, like, if you wouldn't mind saying, like, what type of example... I don't get black screen, I get blue screen. In fact... Twitch, at one point for like a week and a half, um, even though I had explicitly, because I understand, you know, commercials are streamers' lives, especially because, you know, I'm a streamer now. Um, I understood it before, but it's a lot more relevant now. I don't block ads on Twitch, but for like a week and a half, Twitch insisted that because I had an ad blocker installed, even though I wasn't blocking ads on Twitch, that... I was blocking ads, and so it was very often not playing videos. Talking about it doesn't trigger? Well, that's good. I get blue screen. Like, mine is kind of a light blue screen. Do I need to move on with the game so I get, like, a grappling hook? Because going up and down areas is more tedious in this game than it basically has been in the rest of the series, and it's really kind of bothersome. It feels slow. It feels clunky. I don't know if it feels clunky. Clunky is probably the wrong adjective. It feels slow, though. Nothing really happens for me, honestly. If ads aren't mentioned, just kind of forget Twitch has ads. Your dad was murdered and you found his body? I... I can't imagine what Twitch ad brought that up, Molly, but I'm... I'm sorry to have even made you, like, have to... Or not made you, but, like asked you to say that. Like food? Rations are full. Oh no, is this thing in the water? Which doesn't interfere with your video blocker, you guess because it technically doesn't block the ad, it just blanks the screen for it? Oh yeah, I... I don't think I can get that. I th Turn to ice if I stay here. Great. Ah, uh, get me out. Okay, I must get some resistance to that later. Any hey, chance you guys could come over here? A lot of stuff going on. That, so sometimes doing random things triggers memories of doing those activities, which triggers the PTSD. Okay, that that does make sense. Uh, while LARPing, I had a lot of people who um. Well, they had been to war. So I learned a lot of different PTSD triggers. Too cold. My blood freezes. Well, coming up, Hi, guys. I just need you to get across this water. Catch the wind. Or there is an island. Do 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 do. Sail down. 
Seems like a very good Viking game, but it doesn't seem like a very good Assassin's Creed game. I mean, that's my opinion so far. It was my concern all along. But... We'll pick up this water. Deadly cold. <laughs> but, um... Oh, hold on. Is that marker behind me still marked it is? Can't be an Assassin's Creed without a hood. Well, to be fair, it's it's just hiding. Be my eyes suited. <laughs> well, it says I don't mind talking about it. it. Helps to talk about it sometimes. I have some sound triggers as well. Until maybe four years ago, Morbles in FF triggered the PTSD. Like Morbles, that's the multi-eyed things with the big mouse, I think. Uh, I was stuck on Morble Boss at the time, and it was the last thing I saw and the first thing I saw after the incident. Oh, jeez. Main says it's a really good way to put it. I agree with you, Chocobo. Wait, hold on. Oh. Yeah, it's it seems like a... Well, I, I'm not even going to say it's a good Viking game just yet, if I'm being totally honest. I don't know my... It's a very good Viking setting. Sure. But, like... But you know what? I, I I know there's gonna be like giant town raids and stuff later, so I will. I am obviously not making final judgment. I am just is saying my opinion home? right now. This is not a natural quiet. It is as if a curse has befallen this place. Ominous. Find a key for each chest lock. Oh. Well, Valhalla, so there's got to be Viking s things, right? Well, how to say, Molly? It's like, I like the setting of the Fallout games, but the story for the Fallout games, at least from 3 and 4, is pretty weak. So I like the setting. You're not going to get me to argue against the visuals of the Viking setting, of Norway, of all the snow and the mountains and, and the people and the locations. The atmosphere is here. But as far as, like... What makes a Viking game? I guess I'd have to know more about Vikings because I'm... I don't know. I can't say I'm feeling it right now. Chocobo says, Thus far watching you play any kind of makes me want to play it when I get a PS5, but I'm more excited to play the new Valheim content. Ornir and Ymir. Wonder where they've gone. Ornir's Journal. King Harald is no lover of poetry. He desires only the puffed-up praises from lessers, mead-soaked scalds. He can banish me from his house, but he will not silence my saga of King Harald the Unfair, one that will be sung long after his bone dust feeds the earth. But first, we must hunt, Ymir and I. At night, when our bellies are full, the poetry will flow like mead. So, I need to go looking for this mystery. That's what I'm getting. There's a mystery on this island. Love Alheim, but the new content nerfed the bow and made the stamina even worse. Both of those sound very bad, Maiden. Oh, Maiden, Molly. Maiden Chocobo. Uh, Chocobo has been hanging out with me on stream for a while. Molly is a mod. Uh, she sometimes changes the name of the stream for me. And, uh, Maiden is a very long-time friend. So, there you go. <laughs> Introductions all around. Super vague introductions. Wait, I use an adrenaline bar for something? Never used a bow much before my friends did? Yeah, bows are my go-to in Valheim and Monster Hunter World. Monster Hunter World, because all the... Because some of the weapons in Monster Hunter are on different tier lists, depending on game. Just lazy about packing arrows. My biggest problem when it came to uh, Monster Hunter specifically... Monster Hunter specifically was... Oh, hello was, um, 
more that I wanted to go in dual blades, but it's hard to see the monster's animation to know when you need to dodge out of the way when you're inside them. Molly, you play Monster Hunter World? Please tell me you're with me in hoping that the next one is cross-play. So that everybody on PlayStation, Xbox, and, com and computer can all play together. Because that's really all World was missing to have been just... A phenomenal worldwide sensation. It was the best-selling Capcom game of all time, so they know what they're doing. Well, they know what they did. So bad using the hammer against monsters, though, especially since it's the biggest damage came from headshots. Yeah, but if you want to break things... Eat, fly, a Garrick? I'm sorry, this sounds like I'm about to get cursed by Faye. For anybody who might be watching later on YouTube, I thank you for watching. This has been Assassin's Creed Valhalla, presented by Improvision Entertainment, and I have been Hunterman, and we will all see you in the future. I mean, not that we can see out of the computer screen or whatever device you're watching this later on, but I mean, that's just the saying. Future with a capital F, the unknown, the undiscovered country. In any event, later.